lovely sunny day. Hmm, what's got up to? Hello. What are you doing? I'm painting the fence. With what? And when I use when I paint the fence, wonder yeah. I always use Ron Seal because it does what it says on, on the tin. Are you uh, have you read that? No, why? It's actually a bitter, not actual paint, Scott. Have I got it wrong? And it's the wrong colour. Oh dear. But Ron Seal does That's what it says on the tin. Outside the shed, not so long ago. Well, I thought it was paint. Of course, you did. Sorry, wrong with you. Thought it was paint, don't you? Um, so, in the world, the weird world of beer, Love I the tea. don't think this is going to, I don't think we're going to get much, but we might yet, uh, things get much weirder than this beer. Now, my Well, watching you paint a fence with <laughs> no paint on your brush was pretty weird. If you like. Anyway, Out of a can of beer. Yeah. I was acting. <laughs> good, Great acting. Good, isn't it? Um, my good friend. I'm impressed with your acting skills. Well done, mate. <laughs> my good friend Jonathan Brown yeah. from Northern Southern Beer Reviews sent us this yeah. on um, a Facebook Messenger the other day. Mm -hmm. And I just put, what the F? Yeah. Uh, thinking it was a joke. And actually, yeah. it's true. So, Obviously, it really happens, people. It really happens. <laughs> this is actually happening. Um, the fantastic brewers up in Leeds of Northern Monk. Who obviously, they've got a history of slightly bonkers yeah. collabs. Obviously, yeah. we've got these two here. Oh, yeah, the Aunt Bessie stuff. Yeah. The Aunt Bessie's bits and pieces. <laughs> I don't want to see that. It's be too bright. I like the uh, roly poly one. Jam roly poly. That was quite nice. That was like um, vanilla and strawberry in that, wasn't it? What else have they done that was nuts? There was another one. Uh, I can't didn't remember. they do the lock-in thing? Done the lock, yeah, so they did all the, all like the pubs. Um, I can't, there was another one. I can't for life me remember what it was now. Um, well, that will bug me. But I'm sure you guys will, 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 will say that in the mm. comments. There was another one where they did a oh. slightly di uh, slightly mental collab <laughs> with. And this one is probably the most mental of the lot. And it's with Ron Seal. Ron Seal. Uh, obviously, the people that do, do the say, say what it does on the tin. Now, there's yeah. two beers. There's a Saison, yes. um, which I didn't go for. Okay, well, with Ron Seal as well. With Ron Seal, so there's two beers. Yeah. And you, you could either buy both or one at a time. I've just bought the best bitter. Mm -hmm. um, and that's bugging me. What the other but, oh, there it was. It was the Seabrooks. Oh, yes. The Seabrooks crisps. Oh, yeah, we did. So they've got a history of slightly mental stuff. I wanted to try the cheese and onion one. Apparently the lager was okay. To, yeah. be, fair. Uh, to be fair, the goes was quite, quite, quite nice as well. They're nice though, aren't they? Yeah, so this beer is medium oak. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, best bitter coming in at 4% ABV. And it's made to look exactly... Like a paint tin. Like a tin of Ron Seal. <laughs> which is absolutely fantastic. Thanks, paint. So if you read wood out... Paint. Is it wood paint or fence paint? I think they're, fa I think they're both, aren't they? And decking yeah, paint, they do all sorts. Who else is having a look at this, though? So um, this is coming out at five o'clock today, and our good friends, the other members of the pyramid, Mr Chris the Butcher, yeah. and Dave the, Bu uh, Dave the Butcher, Dave the Blue Van Man, um, they've, got, they've got a can as well, and we're all going to release at the same time. So um, none of us knows what the other one thinks of it. So go watch theirs and see what they think as well. So you can drink this one, yeah? Yeah, right. Before we go any further, it hasn't got any Ron Seal in it. Okay. Okay. It does say do not drink and DIY. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't drink and do Well, that's just a standard thing, I would imagine. That's not just don't drink that because you might do die. Do not drink and do DIY, but, especially with a saw. But there's lots of groovy <laughs> things on there, like high, high uh, quality ingredients. So obviously... With Northern Monk, it's going to be, isn't it? Well, they're obviously mirroring the Ron Seal paint tins as right, well. Okay. No nonsense product, expertly brewed in our Leeds, uh, Leeds factory uh, brewery. Uh, perfect finish, 
every time. I wonder what made them think of that idea. Well, I What's do the know. Story I, behind I it? was speaking to my good friend Dean okay. yesterday, and um, obviously Northern Monk, I think, have taken a little bit of criticism for this. Pretty. And what well, they've what they've decided, what their comeback is absolutely fantastic is. Yeah. We're going to keep opening the yellow pages, sticking a pin in it with our eyes closed, and seeing who we can collab with next. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Which I think is fantastic. So it's the best bitter. Why are people moaning about it? Do you know it's what? It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? I've said exactly the same to Chris and Dave, and... Um, it's just a bit of fun. And um, well, obviously um, Dean as well. Mm -hmm. The fact of, we can all get mired in the world we live in, mm -hmm. um, but we also can have a bit of fun with beer. Right. And I think... Having fun, there's nothing wrong with it. It's all right to have a bit of fun, I think. Like the sea brooks, it's, it just brings a bit of excitement sometimes. Absolutely. So I'm expecting the beer to be broadly the colour of the, the paint on the tin. It does. Well, I don't really know. Mind you, it does look like that when you're pasting it. Eh, it's not too bad. It does what it says on the tin. Is it going to do what it says on the tin? In the glass. So what is it? A bitter? Yeah, bitter. Nice, not a lager. No, no. Nice copper colour. Um, raging. Um, I don't know if you can see that in this light. So. Raging um, uh, carbonation. So is it a medium oak colour as it says on the tin? I think it's probably a, a little bit lighter than it says on the tin wonder. Medium oak. Well, it's, it doesn't say it's dark or light. So it's medium. It's probably not far off if I'm honest. Yeah. Wonder. Yeah. Have a nose. It's hard. It's got lots of fluffy clouds <coughs> on top. What's the difference between bitter and a lager? It's how they're, it's the malts, it's how they're brewed. Because they smell very similar. But, mm, I think people might disagree with that. Does it does smell like a lager, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, well, any flavours, anything you're getting off of it? It obviously smells we don't, nice. Obviously, we don't do a great deal of bitter and best bitter on the, on the channel. Yeah, it's hard to know what the flavours are, to be Didn't fair. We, should we fruity? Yeah, it's got a nice fruity smell. It does smell nice, yeah. though. It smells inviting. Inviting. It smells like a, your typical bitter, but nice and fruity. A bit plummy. We should do the difference between bitter and lager to see what they are because I don't know what they are. I'm useless. All the beer people be screaming at me now. Nice and fruity. It smells actually smells quite nice. It smells refreshing actually. Yeah. Get it all in. Yeah. Go on, Is then, this love. the kind of drink you add lemonade to? No. Uh, you, can a have, like you can have a bit of top. And a bit like of shandy. To lava, yeah, yeah, same sort of thing. Go on in. So give it a taste. I'm not sure you'll like it. I don't think you will. So it's bitter meant to be bitter. Mm. Actually, like, make you go. Oh, yeah, really bitter. bitter. Oh, really? Is it? It's not, is it? It's fooling me now, aren't you? <laughs> you should get a nice fruity flavour from it. Very light. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's four percent, so it's not going to be massive. You can't taste that in there. But says right? Northern Monk and Ronsey have joined forces to create a bespoke, no-nonsense beer that does exactly what it says on the tin. It's quite a light, refreshing drink. Okay. It has got a tiny bit of light. Like, Malt, I think. Yeah, it should be sort of quite malt. malty. It's malty, yeah. Yeah, it's malty. Nice. Try. I can't. I, don't, I can't. I'm finding it difficult to find. Pick, pick know what flavours it is, but I'm used to. Looks really nice. Typical, typical bitter. Nothing spectacular going on there. Tastes nice though. I'd have it with lemonade, and it'd be like a really refreshing drink. It's quite a nice tartness to that. Actually. Yeah, what is it? There's a bit of tanginess to it, isn't there? Very fruity, um, nicely carbonated. Fruit You're looking at sort of plums, um, sort of things that have uh, uh, figs, um, apricot, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I thought there was some in there. What's that? IBUs. I'm not picking a great deal of IBUs up. Yeah, it is low, but there is some in there. There is a bit of bitterness in there, though. It's still on my tongue a little bit. 
Yeah, there is a little bit. Um, it's actually, it's not bad. No, I've got to be honest. Bad. It do, it is a beer that does exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah. Um, again. And it is a bitter, isn't it? I think <laughs> I'm not very good with all this. I'm, I'm not bitter. a massive bitter fan. Well, uh, um, a I bitter, can't drink that though. That's not true. I'm not a massive bitter drinker. Mm. Obviously, the old traditional Twiggy. So it's a bit woody. And twiggy ales. It's 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 not. It tastes like. Yeah, it's not not bitter. Yeah. 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 That's um, probably why it's to do with uh, Ron Seal as well. That's why they've gone for a bitter. That's probably why you've got Ron Seal in it. Huh? No, it hasn't. Shut up. That's um, being mean. It's actually okay. I think it was four yeah. pound a ten, mm. or, or something. And then it was five pound plus uh, for postage. So if you're going to buy it, then. I paid just under a tenner for the one can, obviously, yeah, with, the that's with the postage. Though, but it's only because I wanted one. Obviously, if you could buy things like that, free delivery over 60 quid, I think they've got at the moment. Mm -hmm. So take advantage of that on their website. Anything, they, Northern Monk do loads of different stuff anyway. And the, um, the really thing, really thing, a uh, nice thing I like about Northern Monk, one, I haven't brought it out. I'll get it. On, on each. I'll get it. No, I, I mean, I didn't bring it out. One just going to get it. Um, what I like is they um, when they send the stuff to you, they personalise the um, uh, excuse me um, the receipt that they send to you. And I think um, any personal touch that comes your way makes you want to go back to that company. I a couple, a couple of um, orders from Northern Monk over the last probably year, year and a bit, and each one of them comes with uh, thank you, enjoy uh, from Northern Monk. I don't know where she's gone now. We'll see. But that's um that's very nice. Very, very nice. Uh I'll see what um hops bully in earnest. Uh multi barley, hops yeast, and very else a very little else on the um, um yeah, so one. um sorry about that. Um wonder if I'm to yeah, take I had a, to sort out a call. A call. Um so yeah, everything comes with a very personalised message. Yeah, and they put your name on it as well, which is like. And I think those, as explaining why you why you went inside, I think the little mm -hmm. things like that make you want to go back to a company. Yeah. To order stuff. So they've gone out their way to write that. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. Dave. have got a couple up there. Look. Yeah. I'm assuming Dave and Chris got the same. Like a little thank you. Kind yeah. Of thing. Um. So Ron Seal Wonder. Yes. Best bitter in conjunction with Northern Monk. Uh. Does it do what it says on the tin? It does, and I actually don't mind it. I actually like it. It's quite light for me. Yep. Um, if people want something stronger, then it's probably not for them. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't. If people like their bitter, they'll probably like that. But so thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the I'm going to give it thumbs up. I yeah. probably would enjoy it even more so with lemonade, because I'm a baby. <laughs> right, I'm going to go this in two ways. I'm going to give it a thumbs up, mm. and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another thumbs up, because it's fun. Yeah. It's a fun I beer. it's great. I like all the different, like all the different collabs and the things that happen. Look, we could all be a bit snobby about beer, but in this sort of fun. instant, I just don't think it's any effort. I think it's okay, and it's all it's all right to have a bit of a giggle. Yeah. Um, and poke fun at yourselves as well. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. if you had it, let us know mm -hmm. um, down in the comments. Like the like the video if you like it. If you don't. By the way, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't like to pretend that I do, but I don't actually know. I don't really try a bit as much, so I'm to be fair, learning curve I'm, me. I'm, and me, I'm not a massive quite... bitter drinker, so I'll probably get torn apart in this video. <laughs> I don't care. Um, yeah, um, there's a join button if you want to join the, the membership of the channel, it's always welcome. Um, subscribe to the channel, ding the little bell for notifications when we bring out new beers, yeah. and reviews, and food, and other shit that we do. I wonder. We'll see you then, soon.